The car looks like something out of a James Bond movie and is faster than a Bentley, Tesla, or Ferrari. As it zips around in a video released by small car maker Faraday Future. Welcome everyone, in today's video. We're going to look at China revealed a futuristic car that shakes the entire EV industry. Whether a struggling company can reach these segments could be the difference between success and failure at this year's EZZ. Although critics say the company is working, the company is pinning its future on a presentation in Las Vegas on Tuesday. The biggest car in the world. But before we proceed the further video, if you're new to this channel, remember go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. Media pessimism is standard fare for disruptors. Deliberate negative info from press and competitors is the welcomed risk of innovation. FF's bravado comes after damaging headlines have claimed that the company is on the brink of collapse as its Chinese backer, Lico, faces a shortage of cash. Lico executive Jia Yu Ying visited FNDEC 17 to give an inspirational speech. According to FF's Twitter feed, Jia said in a letter last month that Lico was facing big company disease, and as of this week, it was said to be seeking investors of its own. Lico's own self-driving car had a rocky debut. On Thursday, The Verge reported that Faraday Futures' global CEO, Lico's co-founder Ding Li, had stepped down. If they don't find money after C's, a former executive told The Verge, they will be out of money by February. When the secretive company surfaced in 2015, FF promised to bring a car to market this year, with no internal combustion parts whatsoever, according to Motor Trend. At last year's C's, the company failed to produce a production-ready car, presenting instead an amped-up prototype and a virtual reality simulation of a car. The car market has learned to look past the cool styles of prototype vehicles, said Daniel Newman, principal analyst and founding partner of Futurum Research. But if F starts offering customized cars that don't require extensive manufacturing and assembly, Newman said virtual reality could be a key differentiator for the company. When you buy something, people want to know about it. Can they test it using virtual reality? Newman said. In the long run, you could build your own car from 3D imaging. It looks like a small car, but how uses this technology to improve the pickup? What's the way to go? But customization, Newman says, is that cars need to compete for the highest share of the market. That means competing for wealthy buyers who offer every possible option, he said. Many automakers, from traditional automakers to Tesla, are developing new, higher-priced products, said Michael Dempsey, a partner at Compound Ventures, which focuses on technology output. Since FF came out, many competitors have emerged, from BlackBerry to BMW. Tesla will have a competing event in Reno on Wednesday. Bloomberg reported, with small-scale production, FF isn't likely to be first to the market with only one innovation, Newman said. But a knockout combination of long-range driving time and autonomous driving technology could put F off over the top, said Dempsey. I don't really know what they could release other than a fully autonomous car with 500-mile range, Dempsey said. I think if they can show that they can manufacture a vehicle that's on par with Tesla at less than $100,000, then that would be enough. I don't know that it's possible. Both Lixos and ET have said their cars were as much an automobile as a platform. I think it's huge that can provide the market with some visibility, Newman said. Back when they first started, they were talking about accessible demand Airbnb for cool electric vehicles. Lico's expansion into the U.S. has been held up as an emblem of the growing trend toward Chinese technology investing in the U.S. But that means Faraday Future also must live in the shadow of Fisker Automotive, a similar company that sold its assets to China's Wang Ziang after it filed for bankruptcy. Still, if it has good enough software, FF might still find a buyer with either a big technology company, a foreign billionaire, or less likely, a car company. Dempsey said, still, Newman said, it's hard to know where there's room in the market for the kind of cars Uff describes. Is it big innovation or big hype? If they do more of the same with their PR machines, I think they're going to hit a wall, Newman said. That changes the game. Chinese automaker shows off electric Su pickup vehicle. China's legacy, automaker launched a new electric car under the QIUN brand at the Chang'an Automotive Technology Ecosystem Summit this week. Chang'an claims that the new concept electric car can be transformed from an electric SUV to a truck, 
giving you the best of both worlds experience. The model's rear seat has a retractable window that slides under the roof, opening the rear like a truck. Tractable roof makes it easier to load and unload taller SUVs that won't fit. As for how to unlock the switch from electric SUV due to truck, the Chinese automaker shows that it can be done by pressing a button on the big screen in the middle. Another great feature is the digital screen displayed in the headlights and taillight, which can display information such as messages, payment, and model name. According to China Automobile News, the electric car is based on Chang'an's SDA Smart Electric Platform. The automaker's SDA platform was the focus of the technology conference where the production launch was announced. The interior has a minimalist design with a large central screen and a foldable entertainment screen for passengers. I can't see the control panel. Instead, the information is displayed on the main control screen. It also appears to support gaming and AI assistance features. Chang'an made several promises about the car, including that he could find a place to pay for it. The company is developing technology to support such work. That's all for today's video. According to Chang'an, it will also be equipped with in-vehicle communication satellite technology that will not stop. The electric SUV and truck combination is scheduled to go into production next year. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.